you know, they've, they've always, the SAP and other ERP vendors for that matter, have tried really hard to create sort of a prepackaged mentality, a lift and shift feel to, hey, this is just, this isn't as bad as it sounds. You're just moving to another SAP product. We've got industry pre-configured best practices built in. We've got an easy way for you to move to the cloud. And from a technical perspective, they're right. It does help speed some things up from a pure technology deployment or a technology migration perspective. The problem though is, is you're not just migrating technology, you're migrating an entire new way of operating your business. And that's the part that takes a lot of time and money. And that's where you face the most risk. So kudos to SAP for trying, but I just don't know that there's a whole lot they can do just based on history and the realities of, of S4 HANA implementations. It's just going to be, a, hate to say it, but it's going to be a painful process. But if you have realistic expectations and the right risk mitigation in place, you'll be able to, you know, you'll be able to manage through it and be successful. Yeah, definitely. And with, I know you mentioned that the reluctance to changing how your business operates is definitely probably one of the main reasons companies don't want to make this transition. But besides that, what are some other maybe complications that will come up to companies that they will not want to transfer over to the cloud or Rise or S4HANA? 